Here we are. 13 lights. So we've got quite a lot of dudes now. Um, probably need to start being a little more cutthroat with who I keep around. For now, if we're hiring more people, I think it'll be fine. So what are we trying to do? Day 36 and these guys all still... I want to try and raid the northern house once the middle house doesn't hate me. I don't want to travel through the middle house area. They all hate me so much. Pain. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take for them to get back to normal. Seems like the noble house goes at like three times the rate. This noble house really. I need to make some more friends. Peasants. Fight peasants from that dawn anymore. I need to find some better stuff. Find some better gear. Or just buy some better gear. Check where the armorers are. Unberg. Armor. Hey, what's up, Axum? Armor and Grolfer. If I get a caravan mission to one of these places, maybe get some armor at the same time. We'll actually finish this ambition. Rising. Noble contracts. Way more high paying than regular normal. Okay. Big spend. Good cheap. Grab some of that. Don't want to sell anything here that's not good prices. You want to buy supplies at that price? You'll need more medicals. Not very much money. Crack door. Quite far to travel. Let's take the mission to kill Greenskin. Probably going to be goblins. I think low price and the one skull. Five man mercenary come. I'm attempting to attack them. I don't want to piss off the noble house. So. Buy some more. You guys won't heal. As long. I'm rolling. Ain't the expense. Yeah, I'll hire a random. Find his green. Okay. I'm going to raid as many wolf riders. Wolf riders are pretty dangerous. I need to give people better weapons. I need to give people like spears and stuff because it's hard to hit goblins. Flail isn't going to do me much good against goblins either. Uh, a mace. 
highest damage it acts. But it's arming sword. I think an arming sword just does the most damage. Hammer is not great, but I think he's a hammer expert. He's a sword expert. Why have I got music? I got them the wrong way around. Ooh, oops. Okay, this guy's meant to have the hammer and that guy's meant to have the Right. I want my pole arm guys, I think. They hit pretty hard. Definitely bringing Copycat the Goblin Slayer. Do you have a nose, Graz? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you don't. Where are you? Oh, you're still alive. Might, maybe you're not alive anymore. You, you might have died. Oh, there you are. There you go. And still no nose. <laughs> yeah. You're holding strong. Okay, so I don't want to bring too many... I don't want to bring too many, like, garbagey guys. Javelins. I think javelins are pretty good. And I want this mace as well instead of one of these guys. Yeah, here we go. I'll give this guy a mace as well. Maces are really good against wolf riders because they attack like three times a turn. Done them it. Actually take by a lot. Plate shield. Probably fine. Okay, I think this is the company I want to take in. There's a 110 armor here. Alright, I'm a little scared. Wolf Riders are always a little bit scary. I think this is the best set of equipment I can get for the fight. Uh, I actually probably want to fight them at daytime if possible because I have throwing weapons and they have no ranged unit. Normally you want to fight goblins at night because the archers are really good, but this time we have the ranged superiority, so I actually want to fight them at dawn. Okay, cool. Okay, Wolf Riders. Let's take the high ground. Take high ground here as well. Tough. Oh, I don't want him to get surrounded. His flint stuff though, he's quite beef. I'll flip this get. Wolf Riders do a lot of flanking anyway, so. They didn't choose to surround him, which is probably quite good for me. It also means none of them actually engaged him. So I'm going to step to here. Do a round swing, but I'm going to wait. Actually, I don't think anyone else is going to stand next to him, so I don't think we're going to get a bonus. Go for a round swing. Yay on both. Hits them both. Nice. Try and kill this one. Let me check if I've got any utility items. I, think I don't want to use the net yet. Alright, great. Game. Right, so I've got two guys here who can help with this wolf rider, so I'm going to wait on this attack. Definitely want to stun this guy. Nice. And we'll try and kill him. Wow, okay, he just got wrecked. Come in. Off. Yeah, I didn't actually need to stun him because I just ended up killing him. That's really good. Throw javelins at this guy. Right, wow, this is going really well. I don't want to move off my hill. I'll stab this wolf. Raz, guess heads down here. Okay, so this fight's going really well so far. Do we need a MacLeod in there? Yeah, okay, next guy can be MacLeod. These three are all down here. They might actually just be bailing on the fight. It kind of looks like they are. I wouldn't blame them, to be honest. It hasn't gone well for their buddies. Everyone else is dead. I 
think I'm happy. That's what they do. Yeah, they're lugging it. Alright, fair enough. Kills. Yes, Nadim, you are still here, my dude. You are this guy. Alright, that went well. Went a lot better than I expected, honestly. Merchant. I take him to stat for 150. Um, oh, I will do that simply because I want to go to see Sad to sell stuff anyway. Like for that much money, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't do it normally because it's nowhere near enough. But I want to head to see Sad anyway, so probably okay. Maybe it's not worth the amount of time it takes. I think we'll sail back to Sankai to say something. Sell some stuff. Airhouse burn. Oh yeah, really good prices. We can even sell amber for a good price, which is kind of crazy because I'm pretty sure this place makes amber. We're gonna sell a bunch of stuff here. I will sell the amber as well. Oh, guys. That's off. Level ups. Guess you're gonna do life. I think I'm going to take Resolve here. I need more Resolve. Not enough. I'm not sure this guy's ever going to mount to much, to be honest. How long? Same three level ups I take. I'm on an archer, pretty much. Gate range skill. Take Anticipation. He has insane range defense. I think next level up when we get in bow mastery we can switch back to using bow. Now he's gonna 68 he's gonna stick with the throwing spear. Are anyone interesting? Thousand cost rate. We want any of these guys. Sail back to the. Wow, that's really. Expensive. Guessing because of the number of people I have. One for Amber. Wow. How much was I selling it for? That was like three seventy. Exactly. I'm wondering if it pays for my travel there and back. I don't think it does. I'll buy all the amber though. I'll be able to sell it for a profit at some point. But I don't think it's enough that I can actually just sail straight back and make a profit. Buy this net. And then let's go and finish it. Alright, so next... West. Go after goblin camps, I don't want to do that. I can defeat 24, or I can get 7,500 crowns to buy a cart. Definitely want the cart, the cart upgrades. Eight free. Uh, yeah, might as well. Pretty much a free fight. Um, let's play a little safe until they come forwards. Not very threatening enemies though. 
I try and get as much loot as possible off these. I'll flail this guy. I don't care about this guy. really want to step up to the standard axe guy. He wouldn't break my shield. Face of a perfectly good shield. An ambition to defeat other mercs. You walk up and hit them. Yeah, you have to. When you when you have to not have a contract, and then you hold control on the world map to order to order an attack, and then you fight them and kill them, and then you win the ambition. But other mercs are pretty scary, so if you do go after them. Be careful. I kind of want these guys stuff, so I don't want to get them in the face. Raiders down here, I kind of want the loot. Possible. Her alone. What the hell, man? Dude. Six is not. Not when he has repulsed up. Six. Good enough. Nice. He's yeah, that's what you get. That's a striker. Okay, last guy's fleeing. get some yep I'm out of loot I call your band dagger party Adam sir all right well good luck man okay let's get struck out perfect like really doesn't have a job that's all Gonna be a other people alive for a little while. I'll try to die. I uh, find someone better. Funny shield. Rav's leveled up. It's gonna be a tank is the other. So melee defense. Oh. Take. I don't think I want gift on tank character. Like gifted, like stats are nice, but not as important if you're not going to be hitting people. I think I want to take like 
Ava. Ava. Not sure what to do with this guy. He's going to have a ton of melee skill, but I don't know if his melee defense is going to be high enough. Got him as quick hands and bags and belts at the moment, but I don't know if he's going to turn into a frontliner or a polearm guy. I think I'm going to turn him into a multiple weapons. I'm not going to give him a specialist weapon. And he's just going to have a backpack full of varying different weapons that he can pull out. Probably like multiple two-handed weapons. It means he'll need more melee defense. And probably more resolve. I guess we'll take reach advantage. That works pole arms and with two-handed weapons, so the long, the long, in the long run. And I think he's going to get battle forged. Oh yeah. This guy was going to be a whip guy, but they nerfed whips, so now probably going to end up being a pikeman. Copycat I've got being a dob... Yeah, he's, he's going to be dodge nimble, and we're going to see where he ends up. Dodge nimble and melee defense. I don't know if he's ever going to get enough melee skill, so he might end up being like a tank. But like a weird nimble tank. I'll have to see how that goes. We'll hire the poacher. Off chance that he's... Poacher's going And the revolver's in. Okay, that doesn't look. Color on the run? Grave robber. I don't mind grave robbers, I think grave robbers are. I don't know if I want to spend 300 on him. A bit low on cash at the moment. I really needed some more healing supplies, though. I don't want to pay. Price is here for them. Does anyone have a herbalist? Group? Where? Herbalist Grove and Sea. Far away now. We might head into the wilderness and do fighting. I think my company is pretty strong now. I think we're probably strong enough to try a little bit of uh, hunter. Very expensive. Who want hunters? All right, we're gonna we're gonna hire the hunter. Roll the dice on him. Ah, Liney is good. Quick is good. Fifty-five range skill is decent. No stars. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, he can just roll. He can just get good rolls. He's probably going to end up with like, yeah, he, he's probably decent enough actually. And the stars and range defense are nice. Normally I'd just take fatigue, but who is such a bad roll? I think I'm going to take the hit points here. Okay, so this can be that cloud. I mean, even with like he's, he's level two. And he has only 9 less range skill than the guy who's level 4. So yeah, he, he might end up being a big student. We're going to give him heavier armor. And I'm going to give him a throwing weapon if I have one. Doesn't look... right, we're going to give him the crossbow. Give Arlong a bow in his... Because he has bad aim at the moment, we'll give him a crossbow, because crossbows. We definitely want him leveling up, so I also want him to have a sheep backpack in case of trouble. Definitely want him leveling up, so we want him in the fighting line. But where? Out for him. 
Do I not want to level up? Guys, I guess Cheshire. Logan way, I'm not too fast about leveling up at the moment. It'll probably be one of the pike axe. Pole axes. Got copycat for now. I think Apoc can come back in. Definitely need some... Fine. Grab a couple of those. Plenty of tools, so we need to grab some... F sell some stuff so that we have enough money to pay our guys as we travel around. Might sell the trade goods, I haven't decided. See how much I can get from selling random items I don't want. A thousand. Pay my guys for two days. Four days. Right, I want to put some more flails. I want to browse a flail back, I think. Any of these guys have respectable melee skill. Not really. Apox not terrible at six. I don't know if it's enough to give him a morning star, though. Add him sort of morning star. He's also got a flail in the back. Probably fine. That should probably actually be a Alright, let's uh, do some, some plundering. Let's head into the third fall. Bang on. What caravan to Erdfall is tempting because it might reduce the price of the armor there. I actually am gonna do that. Just might give the uh, it might give the bonus to Erdfall and make the armor cheaper. Oh hello, what's this? of his better shot. Yeah, sure, man. You guys can have an arrow competition. Arlong and Logan Way. Well, I mean, Arlong should win this easily. Sixty ammunition. Crazy. Okay. Looks like no one wins. Both just argued a bunch. Sixty is a lot of ammunition to burn through. Hey, what's up, Fathom? Good man. Undead. Alright, so now we've got well supplied Nerdfall. The armor might have some cheaper uh, armors. Really want to get one of these, but 2700 is still a lot to load. Prices here are terrible because it's well supplied now. Um. I buy prices up to chill. Oh, it's a can't do that because they that's like I actually could maybe do that, but I'd have to travel through these people who hate me. So, see the boys, sure. Ones. Guys, okay. Good. Guys, got potential. Guys, all right. Guys, pretty good. Guys, gonna be a great archer. Guy, I was gonna turn into a whip guy, but they nerfed whips, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that anymore. My other potential archer. I'm hoping he rolls high. Guys, pretty good. You guys back here. This is my potential sergeant. Do I need to? Uh, I actually need to put him back in the line. Then most of the rest are just fodder at the moment, I think. Yeah. So what is this? Any weird... I don't want the caravan to be involved in the fight.
Okay, so we have a hill against the undead. They're pretty stupid. They're going to just charge us. That's nice. Well, uh, just end the turn. Give them another turn to attack. I'm gonna wait, let them come towards me. So I need to make sure the Naxeras don't eat corpses, basically. That's the only time they become scary is if they get big. I don't want to do anything. I'll take a hit this guy. I'll throw some javelins at this. Crossbow one of these guys out. Again, just wait for them to get to me. I'll try and finish this guy off. Javelin this. I'm gonna lash this guy to death to keep his armor intact. Zombie, he'll probably just get back up again though. I'm gonna wait and see if the zombie steps up. Both. the zombie oh. around swing them nice. As the eating we were talking about. I'm down and flank these guys in a sec. Other people also be able to attack them. I'll shot this one.
him I took out his armor, but there wasn't a lot I could do about it. Except not attack. Pretty easy fight. Random loot. For 115 armor. I'll take melee defense. Else. Wait. I don't feel like I can make him nimble with the amount of hit points he's got. I'm gonna take range defense because we've got such a good roll. He's gonna end up being a pikeman forever. I might take resolve because four is a lot. Or how much more hit points? I'm gonna take resolve here. Uh, yeah, I agree, Nadim. 50 is about good. But, like, backliners don't need as much resolve as frontliners because they don't have the engagement test. What am I going to do with this? I take... Oh, well, I have so many hit points, I kind of want to take Nimble. Battleforged, I think, is just so much better. I might just take something like execute. Or headhunter. I could see headhunter being really good on him actually. I guess I want to get Berserk on him at some point. Yeah, I, sh I should just take Berserk, right? Because he's got, got the Polearm Mastery, so it's only 5 AP to attack. So he can attack, he can move and attack, and then kill something and attack again. Yeah, I should take Berserk on him. Sergeant, I get Drunkard. <laughs> Alright, well, Drunkard's pretty good on a Sergeant, because plus 5 Resolve, so... Yeah, we'll take Resolve, Fatigue, and I think Hit Points gonna be he's gonna be a semi-tank his job's gonna be rallying and then pulling people out when they're in trouble okay let's uh head into the wilderness a bit got a funberg if we can get anything useful maybe i'll attack this ruin actually company quickly My level up as well. I take twelve on this one. Out. What to fifth? Sixty-four melee skill now. You could probably swap to a proper weapon. Wood. 
but it might be undead, so actually I'm going to give him a spear for now. I have a spear as well. Zombies. Mad Mike, I could definitely, uh, definitely chuck. Yeah, and Adam, the fatigue um, management is quite an important aspect of the game. Okay, so it looks like we've got Geist. Let me see if we've got a Necromancer as well. 21 is so many zombies. Zombies aren't too scary, but, like, Geists are pretty scary. So we have a very high resolve Sergeant now, so maybe it would be okay. I'm gonna try and get Keylad up here where he can use his um what's Nax errors instead of Geist? Oh that's much easier then. Okay, sure. What spear will this turn or next turn? I think next turn. Fire off a shot. Keylad up here where he can lurk. We'll surround him with tanky. Apoc back in the second line because he can rotate. Killer will hold the flank with the hammer. Along in the back line. I'm going to put better way on this hill with his sword. Add him more stack. Okay. So there's at least one fallen hero. Okay, so I really want his items, so I really want his items, so I want to put my flail guys down there if possible. I want his items enough that I'm going to completely break my lines just to put both my flail guys down there. I'm going to put this guy here. A spear will here as well, so where Hunter is now should be fine. Good knock back and spear wall. That's play. Needs a lot of fatigue, but we did get a spear wall going. So then both my flails south go after the fallen hero. What weapon does that fall now? It's a flail. Right, so they broke the spear wall pretty quickly on the top, which is unfortunate. But it's still holding strong on the bottom. Alright, so the Nax arrows are the main targets, because they're the ones that can actually get scary. Zombies are never going to be too dangerous. So let's start working my way through these zombies. If I get to kill, he gets to go again. I don't think I can kill any of these things in one hit. Ah, super close. I'll let them take their turns first. Let's... I want to stab this one because he'll die and I'll get stab this one. I'll wait and see where the fallen hero goes before I decide where to fire into the crowd, I guess. Wait, we're hunting. Close to it. I'm going to try and kill this zombie before other zombies can move in. Then I can re-up the spear wall. Now the spear wall is active again because there's no enemy adjacent to him.
I'll spare well again. Fine. Kill this one. Okay, so that's where the fallen hero is gone. So we'll put both my flail guys on him. He hasn't got a helmet. Try and lash him to death. It's not too scary. Fallen heroes are way more, way more terrifying if they have a two-handed weapon. Mostly because they just keep coming back to life. Got a lot of resurrections. That Max Zero Eight, which is if we can kill this guy. Cross eight. I'm gonna try and lash this. How long to switch boat? Wait here, see if we can get the guy next to us. Wing. Firing pot shots of cobalt's in. Throw. Wait. Beowul guy, Mav is doing insane work. Again. Oh my guys are getting pretty tired now. Often what happens when you fight zombies because they just keep coming back. It takes a long time to kill them all. Hit this guy. Don't kill this one because we get uh, we got berserk and got to go again. I'm gonna try and kill the Nakazera because he's the scariest enemy. Everyone just misses. We should have brought some cleavers for the undead. Cut off their heads. Now. Ransoming these guys. Just so many zombies. Raz has no action point. Flintstock is going to try and pick up the Fallen Hero's weapon, so if he comes back he just has bite. Scary. Take his weapon then, when he comes back he won't be very scary. Um. More zombies resurrect! And the Naxera eats. Going. All the Naxeras are level 2. Try and kill the Naxera. I'm gonna rally because this guy's wavering. Has in a little bit of trouble now. Logan way. Over here. Fuck, I think I'm actually gonna have need to make some room here for him. Move Nad him down one and I'll send Flintstock to rotate him out. 
Wait till next turn to have enough fatigue. Here comes the Fallen Hero, but like I said, he hasn't got a weapon. Flash him to... I can hit that. Well, actually, it's probably better if I kill this guy and two hander can attack the next arrow. Right. Okay, not that many. Get in there. Always in a little bit of trouble. Out right, if I can. A lot of targets I can how long I think. Eight here. What could rotate him? That's play. Man, that guy hits hard. Wow. Mostly just these two up here I need to deal with. Oh. Five for one more turn. Stop moving up. I'll just wait here in case. Alright, yep, there's one. Like this. He likes to finish. All right, that went really well. So better way got a cut arm, which is kind of annoying, but not a big deal. Got a grazed neck, also kind of annoying, but not a big. Deal. Yeah. Getting loot, gemstones, knit ring, golden chalice, a lot, a lot of, a lot of expensive loot, and we got the decayed coat of plates, which is absolutely. Huge. The Cade Code of Plates is a big deal. It's a massive upgrade. My company. Uh, it looks like I'm at 20 out of 20 again. I need to... I'm gonna get rid of it. has re... I bait. Probably gonna have to be Mad Mike. Barbadon. Barbadon can make... Tank with... How many guys do I have I can build in a tank? Oh, actually, we've 11 base. Better. Maybe not with a resolve, though. Uh. Going. Trade at least one. Assuming we can find one. Yeah, I need to equip this decayed coat of plates on some. Probably one of my two handers, whichever one has more fatigue. Like it's better way, but him as a kid. He have Battle Forge? He doesn't. Why well, he went down so easily? It's actually, one twenty-five armor. Pair that. 
Don't want to equip it. Damage. Camps this one. One here, but last time I was there I had very scary enemies in it. Like Necros or something. When I had a uh, ancient honor guards, uh, many ancient honor guards. I don't want to fight that. So you can step on a hill to get a massive range very quickly. Stepping on a mountain briefly gives a lot of view. Uh, camp through the night, probably. Other stuff to repair. Actually, pretty low on food now. I have to head back. We have to head back. See a camp on the way, we might attack. Doesn't look like we're going to see anything though. So we need to head over to the city to sell our goods. We have a lot of money. Uh, a lot of goods even. Well, not a lot of money. What can we sell? Great price. We are going to need to sell something because we need money. Hey, our guys. Once we travel to the city. I have like at least a day's worth. Might fire some more. Oh. Today, Hunter again. Wow, the original background, guys, you pay a lot. Following another shield. Try to work out how good this guy is. I want to keep him. 26 melee defense. He's got like 7 melee defense. Uh, great though. He has no stars in it. Man, the fatigue cost on that plate, coat of plates is so much. On Everyone's in 110 or better armor now, which is pretty nice. Got a good roll on that. Gifted. Probably do much uh, the range attack is such a Okay, so this guy's shaping up nicely. He's got 67 now. He's only one less than the guy with three stars. If he keeps rolling well, he'll end up being a good archer. Or 
that. We gotta go sell some stuff. Take a look at these quests and see if any of them are close. Okay, this is defend the town. I get paid 12, 13, 15. That's a loot, my dude. Great. Buy some food. I don't when they're gonna turn up, but it won't. Okay, so we've got a day's worth of pay. That should be enough to defend the town. It looks like we're going into night time. I need to take out the archers if we fight them in the... That's 17 max errors. Raiders that... Marksman, many raiders. I don't think I want to take Bet away in this fight because he's state copy. I like long axes against raiders anyway, so uh, I should also take one. Want spears on these guys? Probably fine. And brigands doesn't seem like enough for the amount of pay I'm getting, so it's almost certainly going to be a second group of brigands afterwards. Take a look at what they've got. So interested to see if they attack me or if I have to attack them. Looks like they're making some aggressive move. It might just be to defend the archers back. Okay, they're not making very many aggressive. Let's. Wait until they've used up their turns. Wait, what? Okay, they are getting super. What do I want to do here? I want flails on these two four. I think this guy I'm just going to try and kill as quickly as possible. I'm definitely going to shoot this guy for a crossbow. This guy I just want to kill, I think. Like I said, I want to get my flails on these guys. Around like this. Keep off me. Put some pikes on him. Might even destroy his shield. Here will here to prevent this guy coming down and engage it. Ow. Crossbow bolt was unfortunate. Got my shit. Box and drop. He has rotation though. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill this kite shield. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. I even wrote Got any tanks nearby? I guess we can rotate copycat and he'll work. Wait till this. I really want to kill this guy, so I'm just gonna.
Nein, einfach noch nicht. Au. <lacht> Was wollen wir denn, Mann? Ist euch savage. I'm gonna try and kill this guy before he gets done. I don't really want to hit this guy with a hammer because he's got shield wall. I'm gonna try and sneak by. I think I out this guy. Step up so we. I would just stab now. I suppose supposed to do so much damage. They almost always injure. You get a lot of guys just punked by a random crossbow bolt. I'm gonna try and kill this guy. Alright, flash this guy. Probably want to take out his shield. I just really like taking out people's In the early game shields very good defensive later on get access back through them with enough melee attack at this stage shields are quite hard to get They are long. Watch this. Like so. That might have been a misplay. He doesn't have a shield. And just get punked by crossbowmen. I need to put this guy in the way. Yeah. There are some dogs somewhere that I could un. Dogs. I'm really not sure what happened to my dogs, I guess I could have used them. Archers before me. Those two have escaped, but he is trapped.
Alright, so there's probably going to be another group of enemies coming. Uh, we can't use APOC again, that's for sure. So if we can use... I uh, probably can. 20 versus 50 is not too bad. Back loud. Alright, guys, has another long axe and a blade. Random items. This armor, this helmet is quite good. 140 health. Hmm. Apparently that was it. Enough. Let's... Uh, Raz. Have Colossus, he does. Definitely take melee defense. And I'm going to take fatigue. And it's between hit points and melee attack. I think he needs to keep taking melee skill. He's going to get five more level ups after this. Another 10 or so. I'll end up at like 84. Acceptable, it's not amazing. I built him as a tank in. So I put a lot of points into melee skill. So he rolls well on melee skill. He has a lot of melee defense, so he could probably be a duelist. A duelist with a sword, maybe, for the plus 10% attack. That would make sense. Yeah, I think we'll make him a duelist. Or duelist. Rav is just going to be tank forever. Fire job. We're going to take melee defense, solve, and then either hit points or range defense. I feel like you can just give a give a guy a kite shield and he should be fine. I do need a lot more fatigue, but two is not a very good roll. I think I'll take the hit points. Want. Probably rotation going to be a tank makes the most. Rotation and brawny he'll need. Probably should take rotation first. Most useful skill early on. Or one ten armor. I think everyone is in one ten at least. Uh, I think we'll give Mav a kite shield as well. The What's your durability? So Apoc definitely has bad fatigue. That's good. Let's get our money. Check what this roll. Don't roll. Humbug or sun high. I have to go here, here, right back here. Actually, a really short roll. I'm the 17 Naxeras here, and I get paid per head. So I could take it and immediately kill the 17 Naxeras. I get 71 crowns per head. That's so much. I think I'm going to take it, because I, I just immediately make so much money off of killing the Nax errors standing next to me. Fire ammunition. Orbitant price, but... Fire ammunition. Well, I think... So overpriced, though. I could just sell my stuff here. Prices aren't bad, they're not amazing. I think I'd rather wait until I get back from the roll. Have better relations. Okay, After the Nax errors, but I need to swap out some guys first. APOC definitely is fine fighting. Back raise, it looks like again, so back in. Plus, can I not have fight? He'll probably be fine against Nax. Actually, I'd rather not have him. Is 
17 is a lot. No, there is. So I'm a little worried. But we've got a nice hill. And we've got spears. We should be okay. I'm going to wait and see if they can get to engage me. But I don't think they will be able to in one turn. I guess it depends how many of them start big as well. Because if there's like a few level 2s or 3s to start off with, that could be a problem. Alright, let's back up onto this hill. Are they going to be able to reach? Might do. Be a wall in case they... I don't see any big guys. Let's uh, keep going back up to there. So I want to be fighting on these tiles with the enemies on these tiles if possible. There's no big Nax errors to start with. Prevent them from growing, that would be good. So I want to back up two tiles. Spread out a bit and make some room. So yeah, I want to fight. I want spear walls like here. Pikeman here. Throwing weapon there. And so I want here to rotate people. And yeah, I just want spear wall these three tiles, I think. Wow, he's too tired to spear wall. That's. So I need Eki to move down one, copycat to move up. Black Razor can stay where he is. Grim can stay. Hunter killer can stay where he is in case they flank. Oh. Yeah, I want him to move down one. I feel like someone's going to die here. Uh, it depends how it goes, Flintstock. Sometimes Naxeras fall pretty easily. Sometimes they uh, cause problems. Like I say, it depends largely on whether or not they grow. Because level 1 Naxeras aren't scary. But if they eat corpses and get big, then they get real scary real quickly. Especially if they get to level 3 and then they can eat your guys. But level 1s are not that big a deal. And they'll, they'll, they'll attack into the spear wall repeatedly as well. Because they're not very smart. Problem is these two guys didn't get to spear wall. They can put someone in this tile. Ah, and also they broke the spear wall immediately. So that's pretty bad. Dark chunk. Wow, key lad, how do you miss that? Okay. 
Okay, so I can re-spear wall because the guy standing next to him died. Alright, this time the spear wall's doing way better. Ah, it's broken it again. So we can move Hunter Killer up to here and punch this guy. Nice. Yeah, to help. We throw Nugent at them and leg it. We can, but we we want to kill them all. We don't want to retreat because we're getting paid per head we bring back. So we want to kill all of these guys. Also, Nukin is actually like part of Zoets is to believe Nukin is going to be a good sergeant because the sergeant's job is to yell at people, and Nukin is very good at that. So. Let's start killing that because there is power I missed again. Come on, man. To hit these things. Yeah, that's more like it. This is Nax area here. Tries to come. Oh. He like should be able to kill this guy. Oh, that one. Not. Right, they're already breaking. Nax is a super cowardly. Once you kill a few of them, they start to really give up. Right, nice. Look at them. They're all just routing. Naxeras, uh, once you start to break them, they're very easy. They break very easily. Once they do break, they uh, they don't come back normal. I can't remember how many tiles they can move before eating. I think I think if they have to change elevation, they can't do it. And I think they can move one tile and eat, but if they change elevation, they can't do it. But, like this guy won't be able to eat this corpse. That guy just stood where he was and ate. Oh, you can move. Okay, that's annoying. Not how I thought it worked. So it's really just the leveled up ones that are a danger. Normal ones are pretty tight. So it's all about focusing down the leveled up ones. Our key lad is just not hitting anything today. Throw javelins at the scary guy. And pull out the sword. Hey, what's up, man? You have a character now, Mav. Okay, so a bunch of them have leveled up to level 2. This guy's now level 3. This guy's actually scary. So we need to kill him as quickly as possible. I'm actually going to try and stun him. Nice. Uh, Copycat's going to go and support that fight once Steki gets out of the way. This guy's level 2, so I need to stab him. I actually need to make some... Right, he went down pretty quickly. We're actually going to step... Hmm. Level 2 is a little too scary, actually. I'm going to step to here and spear wall. Make room for my pikemen. I'll go down here and support this fight. Hunter Killer is a boss, yeah. He was one of my starting brothers. And the starting brothers in the Northern Raider background are really strong. So copycat. Go here and support this fight. Flintstock, it might be time for a Flintstock to get sold. Maybe wait one more turn. Raz could definitely bank. Go here and stab that and step back. Okay, right, so this guy's level 3 as well. He's actually a danger. Right, we chunk that level 3 to death. I don't want to go and engage the level for. Yep. Nice. We'll wait for him to come to us. Uh, they can eat your guys, but it takes like nine action points. So they can't step forwards and eat your guy. 
They have to be standing next to you at the start of their turn. So we're just going to pass turn here. We have a really good fortification on top of this hill. No reason to move down. Let them come to... Right, so here... Not moving. I'll just, I'll just have everyone wait. Make them use up their full turn before I step in. If I walk down to him, he'll eat someone, so... Okay, so now he's used his turn, we're gonna go in and surround him. Now is Actually, I probably want Hunter Killer. Like, rather than Flint. I guess I can get both involved. That guy's probably going to eat someone, but uh, you can not permanent. You can kill the monster and get them back. Yeah, so he ate Flintstock. <laughs> we kill him, we get Flintstock back. Okay, there's Flintstock covered in gore by Naxera. Going to end the turn here. I think they're, they're probably running away at this point. Yep, so we'll just say, actually, do we want to run them down? I think we do want to run them down, because we get paid per head. So for every Max Arrow we can kill, the better. And we have a dog that we can chase them. So I might have left it too long now. I probably should have gone after them if I wanted to catch them. See how this goes. Dog should be able to catch at least one of them. Uh, Flintstock's looking a little, a little worse for wear after getting eaten by that axe arrow. I was reading the background on the Flintstock character, Flintstock, and it actually does, I think, mention his sexual prowess. Oh, wow! That guy just ate my dog. So annoying. That dog had good armor as well. Just hit him in the head and killed him. That sucks. Poor dog. Alright, well, we're gonna get at least one more Naxera head. That's another 70 odd crowns we get paid. Pay for the dog, though. I would normally, if he hadn't killed my dog, I'd give up, but I feel like I should try and avenge my dog now. I'm going to keep chasing him and probably be next turn or the turn up. Yeah, okay, sad. Oh, we got some Naxera pieces. Yeah, if you look at what Flintstock's background says, there's... Flintstock and Northerner was such a child. So you were, oh no, never mind, it doesn't. It says that most see raids as a matter of material and women, but occasionally they will enslave formidable boys with great potential, and Flintstock was such a child. So you're not really a barbarian. You were originally a guy, but you were captured by barbarians and turned into a barbarian. Okay, so Logan Way levels up. Wait for T. Well, I think take sixty-seven is a lot of melee skill. I might, I might make this guy into a sarge, uh, into a like a flanky spearman guy. I give him like spear mastery, shield expert, lone wolf, uh, fortified mind, and just have him like a as a a flanker. I don't want to take Shield Expert yet because if I change my mind about him being a flanker, then Shield Expert is going to be a complete great. I'm going to take like Brawny, which will be good either way. 
hybrid. Yeah, we're going to take these. I don't think we need melee defense. I think he's more likely, like a uh, hybrid is more likely to turn into a um, crossbowman. Like he's more likely to be crossbowman plus polearm than anything else. So he's probably not, he might not get enough melee skill to actually be boss. So it might give him backstabber. Right now. We're given both pole armor and crossbow mastery. Given throwing mastery, actually. Um, I think I might try that. I think I might try a throwing mastery. So he's going to be throwing weapons. I'm also going to, yeah, I'm going to give him bags and belts and quick hands. And I'm going to give him a bunch of throwing weapons and try them out. Because also you can get heavy throwing weapons in the DLC and I really want to try those out. Okay, so we got 15 heads there. Nice, because we're going to get paid for each one. Okay, so here's 12 brigands with some war dogs. We're definitely going to chase these guys down because we're on a patrol. That's kind of our job. And also because we want their sweet heads for money. Checking my guys. I think everyone's fine to fight. Arlong is still in bad shape. Bad shape. Yeah, okay. Many brigand marksmen. Two brigand raiders. Interesting. So they're mostly ranged. I think that just means we're gonna wait until night time to attack them. Uh, let me check if I've got any spare kite shield. Yeah, we'll definitely put the kite shield frontliners as well. So, like, we'll give Flintstock a kite shield. Plus, that's terrible. Everyone has terrible range defense. Mav is getting kite shield. Yeah, it looks like mostly... Wow. Copycat's range defense is minus five. Is that bad enough that I just don't bring him to this fight? Yeah, I think so. He doesn't have, like, nimble either. Oh, he has dodge, I guess. But he'll actually have, like, quite a lot more range defense. He needs, like, he needs to become nimble as quickly as possible so that he stops getting wrecked by initiative. This long axe is a lot of minus. Okay, anyway. I won't take him to the... Yeah, it's a little bit annoying it's only midday. I don't wanna fight these guys at night time. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna wait till night. I don't wanna fight a bunch of marksmen who have crossbows during the day. I'm running past them so they start running the other way because they're running away from me. I don't wanna be closer to Funberg. We actually do fight them. That's nice. I actually probably shouldn't bring any of my range, my, my own range. That's always. I suppose sound good. Crossbows are okay. Um, crossbows are easier to hit with than regular bows. And they do way more armor piercing, but in the late game when you have like really good archers, they're much better with bows than crossbows. Because I think to shoot, actually they changed how much it is to shoot and reload a crossbow. It used to be like 9 AP to shoot and reload a crossbow, so it was your whole turn. Now it's like 7 it also means, I think, that if you shoot and reload with Berserk, you might be able to shoot again. I'm not sure on that. I need to check the numbers. I think it's like 3 to shoot, 2 to reload now. No, you have 2 You have two left over. It's 7 total. So yeah, if you've got an extra 4 back, you might be able to reload fire again. That's what made archers insane instead of crossbowmen. Was the fact that you could shoot like 3 times in a turn with... Um, with Berserk. 
But now you might be able to shoot twice in a turn with uh, Berserk on, an, on a crossbowman. They might be a lot better. But it's mostly, yeah, it's like all marksmen. Ow. This is what I was worried about. Crossbows do so much damage. That's why I wanted to attack at night time. So yeah, I want to close as quickly as possible and get in range of the archers. Gauge this time. Not really. Dog. Pretty glad I brought all these kite shields with me because these uh, these crossbowmen are savage. Okay, let's uh, gauge and kill the dogs as quick. Yeah, I'll take that. Finish this guy off. Then this guy's no longer routing. I need to rally him. I'm gonna hide better way behind this rock. I can't hit these dogs for any. Um, I really need to engage the archers. Rike is pretty beat up. I think I'm gonna send him in anyway. I'm gonna try and. Yeah, I can't destroy the shield fruit. I'll just kill this dog. Step up here and attack a dog. Once we break through their front line, this will be very easy. Glad, I'm so glad I did this at night. This could have gone very badly if I'd attacked them during the day. I suppose to the face of one of the easiest ways to randomly lose brothers. I mean, look at that. One hit and he's already half dead. And this is one of our beefier guys as well. Doesn't engage as many archers as I can in one turn. I'll do the same here. We'll try and engage the remaining archers. I need to get rid of this dog first. I need to make a space for this guy. This. I actually need to head down and rally him. I missed. Come on, Keyhai. Can I reach an archer this turn? I cannot. That's the point. Okay, I've engaged most of the archers now. Really. So they shouldn't be too dangerous anymore. I just pull up knives as long as they don't get lucky with some punctures. Should be good. Oof. Man. I'm having trouble. That's more like it. Oh. 
Now we're just slaughtering them once we've reached there, reach them. Right now it's just a slaughter. Teen hit points with a cut artery should be okay. Is three hit points a turn? That's yep, that's fine. Okay, cool. So now I've got pierced leg muscles and a cut artery. But he's okay. The loot was kind of crappy, but whatever. We're doing it for the loot. We're doing it for the heads. Go and stop off in Funberg. We've got twenty-three out of twenty-five heads now. So now we're just looking to finish the quest as quick as possible. I actually don't think I'll stop here, I'll just active all oh. our tools again. That food again. <laughs> uh let's take Striker and Mav out of the line. Far long fish. Probably. Don't really want him on the front lines. We could probably just we could probably make do with four man front line. Got Anders, a couple of archers, sort of ranged characters, got ranged weapons. Right, better ways leveled up, which is great because now he can get battle forged. Yeah, he's got tons of stamina. He's definitely going to be bat battle for oh, hip. Ow. Yeah, so he's now like super beefy. This armor plus battle forged. Because not. Yeah, these, these basic stats are not going to get there, I don't think. We'll, uh, we'll keep leveling them up and see how it goes, but. This hasn't got enough resolve or fatigue. Two stars and melee defense is nice, but no stars and melee skill means he probably won't end up being. That beefy. Yeah, and the bad bad base resolve is really annoying as well. Guys, three stars in melee. I'm gonna give him a title just. What is this? Swift? Basically the same as this guy, but without the levels yet. Oh, 46 base hit points, that's pretty bad. Yeah, Flintstock will be a duelist next time he levels up. Means he'll lose the shield. Then you have no range defense. Yeah, I need, I need more frontliners. That's what I need. I need to level up Sarpedon. I have. So. Let's put Sarpedon in instead of Black Razor for now. Just level him up. Who else am I building as a tank? Mav, right? Yeah, Mav's gonna be.
I need to get some supplies here. Oh yeah, super cheap tools. We'll grab all of those. Grab some cheap. Want to buy these copper ingots? They're quite cheap, but I haven't got that many crowns right. Sell some light crossbow. Got enough daggers now. Dagger and so. Got a lot of knives. I've also got this 140 helm I need to equip. Two of them, in fact. Who has spare fatigue running around? Arpadon? Raz has 140. That really doesn't. So it's one of these. Oh, no, he just doesn't really have enough. Fair fatigue. 140. Apoc does. Apoc has so much fatigue. I need to sell my loot. I really want to go to a city to sell it. I. Yeah. Not seen this before. Noble male. So it's like better fatigue than you'd normally. Yeah, it's like way better fatigue for the armor count. Very expensive. So it's for like when you want slightly better nimble type. Woman jumps out of the tree line beside the path. Grandpa's fallen down a well. Alright, key lad, you're strong. Give her a hand. <laughs> but key lad got late. Good key lad. Okay, so we're actually going to run out of money pretty soon. Pop off in Funberg and see how much money we can make. Selling, but we'll probably not sell here unless the prices are really good. Oh, the price is actually very bad. But I do want these to might sell something. I think, the, I think the prices are just too bad, and we, our plan is to go and sell anyway, so we'll just wait. Okay, there's no one we want to hire. Oh, the Magnus wouldn't mind hiring him. Also, there's a hunter there, I'd quite like to hire a hunter. Anyway, we're going to get paid when we get back to Sondheim. About 1600 crowns is pretty good. Sondheim prices are quite good. Uh, we'll sell the amber here, I think, because we can't sell amber at the place we're going. Go to the city. We could sell everything and go grab like the Adventurous Noble or the Hunter. Or both. Grab a thief. Thieves have such good base stats. Always worth checking them out. Dastard. Steer, mate. Dastard is awful. Definitely don't want a dastard in my company. I buy T. No, very expensive tool. Bushberg. Four days. No, thank you. Okay, where do I want to sell my good? It's now threatening. Getting better. I'm allied with Sandkai. Very friendly with Seat What am I like with Roll S? Not on here. So. So I want to really. I think I will march to Sandkai and then sail to the 
city and hopefully get good prices there. We can also pick up some tools because I'm pretty sure Sankai is the place that sells tools. Yeah, it's got a workshop. So that's good. On day 44 now, 45. It's going okay. Pretty strong. We could do with. We really need some more of these type things. These are big power spikes. Hexen. 15? Oof. Nope. Definitely don't want to take that fight. Eight brigands. Almost certainly do want to take that fight. Everyone I want to level up in the company. Av is not. Pretty beat up, so I don't think he's. Fine, we won't, we won't take Mav. Come here, brigands. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Alright. Okay, we didn't get a forest fight, which is good. I want to fight in the forest. It could be a very easy fight. They are very, very weak. Scariest guy, I think. Brigand Raider with the kind of flail. I'm gonna avoid him for now. Raider here. If you're an attack, we can. How long doing with his life? Um, we go here and throw a javelin at this. Raz just hammered that guy. In Last term of copycat. Copycat had it. Actually, it was 5 AP, wasn't it? He couldn't do anything. Fine. Alright, so that guy's walked into our trap. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I guess he has a military pick. How much does it do? 102. To destroy, yeah, it was destroy armor. That makes Not attacking that guy because I want his stuff. Got a 140 helmet that I like. Oh, oops! I thought this was this guy. Do we ever kill this? I guess he's already retreating. I don't need to kill this guy. I just want to kill because he's got a two-handed flail, so he's a little scary. Wow, everyone is missing. Here we go. This is that one just. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, flail guy. Don't kill me. Ow. What did I just say? Oh, gee. Oh, this guy's really wailing on me. Anyway. Oh, I'm out of javelins. Oh, it didn't actually go very well, considering how much stronger my company is than random brigand. It's actually gone quite poorly for me.
surprised at how quickly better way went down. I guess the guy did have an anti armor weapon. Still, he's battle forged with like 260 armor. Still crazy how quickly he. One good. Ah! Any of our bros died in this battle? Uh, no. We haven't lost a guy in a little while now. I've been, um, I've been, I've been uh, ordering people to like get kicked out of the company because they're not strong enough. But in terms of actually losing someone, I don't think. Yeah, we haven't lost anyone this run or like this this uh, episode. Day twenty eight was the last time we lost someone. Once you get to this sort of mid game point, um, if your company is at the right strength, it gets stop losing people normally. Alright, so there's six brigands over there. I'd like to go and kill them. Arlong's probably okay to keep fighting. Arpadon leveled up. It's gonna be a tank, so take the tanky skills. Gonna end up with a boatload of resolve on this guy. A free free win on this fight, I think. Set up pikes behind Flintstock. Like they're not interested in attacking me. Fine. Can definitely be presser in this one. How long I want to keep behind a tree for safekeeping. Raz and Flintstock will form my front line here. Then we'll have my two hander flank. Bikes behind. Weapon is annoying. This is the thing that kills shields from afar. I'm gonna try and get him to attack. If I get him to throw it at Flintstock, then he won't take out the shield. This two-handed axeman is probably the most dangerous opponent. Oh, he takes out Graz's sheep. Not sure what this guy's weapon is. I don't want to engage him yet. He hasn't. The fact he hasn't got a shield makes me think it's probably a two-handed weapon. Graz can probably step forward. That'll probably be. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to engage that guy really. I think I'm gonna send Seki to go and throw javelins at him. It's super aggressive here. Yeah, not that hyped about gaining that guy. Gonna take out Flintstock's shield if I'm not careful. Well, I mean, they're just gonna take it out with this. I can do about it. Uh, let's go. Gavin's. On Flintstock, that's not. Stop piking this. Thing. Wow, he went down easy. This guy is scary. Got a two-handed axe, and I haven't got a shield. I'm a little worried. Can't kill him. Well. 
think Flint Flint's up should be okay, right? He's battle forged, he's got reasonable armor. Right, the guy missed that. Oof. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. More than I'd expect it to be. Make room with Braz. Get the other guys in. Wow. <laughs> Alright, good job, copycat. That's a move. I didn't know what to do. Ah! Didn't mean to do that for sure. I'm gonna move through, but you can't move through two of your own guys. That was a misplay. Got a spear and no shield. That's so weird. Do you want to kill this guy before he gets turn? Nice. Both of my guys here actually have flails, so they should be okay against the shield. Like that archer is running away. Blame him. I lost so many shields in this fight. To the point where I'm going to start buying shields. Every, every raid I fight is just taking out a bunch of shields. That'll do. There's no way I'm catching that archer. Random helmets. Gold, nothing great. Oh, got that my inventory. That was silly. Thing. Okay, uh, so I need new shields. Yeah, I'm really low on shields. I actually don't have enough shields. Oh, we got some level ups as well. Yes. I want to do melee defense. I feel like he's never gonna. Actually, he's part of my free star melee skill. There isn't a lot going on with this character. He's gonna need to roll extremely well across the board to be a useful character. Copycat is going to be a nimble guy. We can almost take nimble. I think we're going to take backstabber because he's never going to have enough melee skill to survive to hit things. Double bonus is a good. Is good. So maybe I want to make him a tank actually, and he doesn't need it. Defense. He's got dodge for the mostly defenses. Yeah, I think he's going to be like a nimble tank. I've never tried before, so it'll be a new a new thing to try out. So I probably want haunt rotation. Which is not a great perk for a tank. Very bad. Should end up with a lot of hit points. And a lot of initiative, and he's gonna have dodge. So let's see how that goes. 
Maybe recover, actually. Needs to be able to reduce his fatigue so that his dodge back up. Okay, let's head to We're gonna buy all the tools we can get our hands on. We're gonna sail to the city. Terrifying nightmares. Prices here are pretty good. 76 for the pelt. Sell a few things. Check the comparison prices at the uh, city. And maybe sail back if the prices are much better here than they are in the city. Why has he got flail in his inventory? Right, let's take a look at our prices here. So we're looking at 76 for a pelt, 282 for copper. Make some room so we can buy amber as well. I don't think I can sell amber for a decent amount at the place I'm going. Because it makes amber. But last time we were there, the price was actually pretty good. So we'll, we'll buy all the amber in case we can make a quick buck. And we're going to need to sell something so we can afford this sailing trip. So let's sell that. Sell 76. So they've got amber again. 82, yeah, so it's better to sell here. Much better. for a taxidermy but all of our loot Alright, so now we have like 7,000 gold. It's pretty good. We still have some trade goods to sell when we get to the next expensive place. I need more money. It's a reasonable price. I'll grab some here. 5.50. Buy another set. Grab some food. That too. Fine. Uh, let's see if there's anyone want to hire. One's kind of garbage. Color on the run could be good. Nope. I don't want to buy the 400 kill on the run, that's a bit too much. What? Like goblin. A lot of money. I don't really like fighting goblins though. Oh. One. But I don't get paid very much. Uh, the prices, Graz, are based on set factors. So the prices are based on your relationship with the town and events that are there. Not random. Back southeast. Eight thieves, many brigand raiders. Pretty easy. What we need to do is get more money and you turn it into better armor, I think, at this point. Because we've got quite a lot of good brothers with potential if we level them up. I 
Okay, um, I'm gonna end it here. It's been pretty late. Uh, yeah, went pretty well. We got some more money. We got a couple of decent pieces of armor along the way. We need to buy more armor like this and slightly better. And I want to buy a better hammer as well because this kind of mallet is a pretty low tier hammer. But yeah, that's what we'll be looking to do next time. We didn't lose anyone. That was cool. So, all right, see ya.